Let's go straight to breakdance where Lagos Zone has seen nine dancers progress to the final of the National Breakdance Championship to hold November this year ahead of preparations for the 2024 Paris Olympic Games where the dance will debut as one of the sports activities in the global showpiece. The final of the qualifiers held in Ekoi saw four girls and five boys received received the tickets to join 23 finalists already qualified from other zones that include Abuja, Portacourt, Kaduna and Kano. Those who made the journey to the Lagos Grand Finale include them Omana, Victor, Edun Olaide, Uket, Isaac Akikumi, Nancy and Barnabas Angel, while others are David Wonderful, Idris Salam, Adesoye Victoria and Akimbogu Victoria. Initiator of the competition, Adelonke Gunaya Belo, told journalists that the vision is to produce sportsmen and women of Nigeria to represent the country in the new Olympic approved sports next year in France. Adelonke added that her vision is to empower Nigerian youths and dissuade them from crime and drug abuse and make them good ambassadors of Nigeria on the global using um, breakdancing sport. Some of the youths who spoke to STV Sports Cafe expressed optimism to win medals at inter International Breakdance Championship in France as representatives of Nigeria if they emerge as two of those to adorn the Nigerian colors at the European country. Let's take it straight to the interview session of what we saw. Talking about breakdance here in Lagos. As of today, breakdance is now an Olympic sport. A um, few years ago, the, Oli the International Olympics Committee, you know, added some uh, some sports to the Olympics, and breakdance is one of the games. So next year in Paris, we are going to have breakdance featured for the first time ever as a sport. So now, when you see anybody breaking, you can also see them as sports people. You can also call them dance athletes as well. So breakdance is here, and it's also a sport that we are using to empower the youth. We are using it as an avenue to preach to the youth, to reach out to the youth, um, dance followers, dance fans, dance athletes, dance artists to also campaign. As you can see, some of them have been campaigning against rape, yahoo, yahoo courtism, thuggery, and all of that. So it's also a way to reach out to the Nigerian youth. And so far, we've reached out to over 5,000 youths using uh, breakdance to campaign against social vices among the youth. Olympics um, added it to sports because it's we are more like an athlete. Our training is even more harder because I've, I've been with footballers sometimes. I've been with um, boxers, kickboxers, and when they train, we train. They be like, "Come, are you guys taekwondo?" We say, "No, we are breakers." And they say, oh, "You guys do this kind of training, like the push-ups, the jogs, the jumping jacks." We do more than them just to achieve what we can do as a breaker. So these are the things that the international bodies saw and they were like, wow, these guys should be athletes, not just dancers, because there are more of dance athletes than dance artists. So they um, involved it in um, the Olympics 2024 happening in France. And since then, we dancers has been seen as athletes all over the world. Although there are people that are still saying, no, these things should still be in the art form, entertainment, but we are, we are in between. We are in between, yeah. There's a lot of debate going on with the... Um, the sport, the sport part, and the heart part. So this is very new to the culture. This is very new to the community because this is this is sport and heart. So we're just like merging the two together. And yeah, the, the, my impression for it is very good. That's it. fantastic one looking forward to seeing how they can get out there and make us extremely proud and from that 